Hey everybody, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and today let's talk about focal points. So what exactly is a focal point anyway? In a piece of art, a focal point is the point in which your eye is immediately drawn to, and then, hopefully, on a good piece of art, uh, a point that your eye is led back to later in the piece. For more on this idea of movement, do check out the Principles of Design Part 4 when I talk about movement. But generally speaking, a focal point is kind of how it sounds. It is the point in which your focus is drawn to. But for a piece of art, that could be anything from color to contrast to texture. So let's talk a little bit about each of those. A regular drawing in ink or charcoal or pencil it's just going to be sort of grayscale, black and white, so how would you create a good focal point there? Well, areas of unique contrast, so quick uh, transitions from a light to a dark right next to each other create very interesting focal points. For a traditional drawing, or I suppose even a digital piece as well, that is simply a grayscale black and white piece, uh, think about your darkest darks, or black, or in lightest lights, which is pure white or just the color of the paper. All of the grayscale sections in between make up the drawing, but those two distinct points of the darkest and the lightest are your contrast points. Those are the ones that are going to make your focal points really stand out. So for those dark darks and those light lights, you can think of something like a deep cast shadow by a dark object, or something that's bright and reflecting light, like my forehead. Now once you understand this idea of the two contrasting points of one dark value and one light value, you can then start working a little bit into color. In a traditional painting, think about a sunset or a sunrise, something that uses reds, oranges, or even yellows to create something that really feels unique and draws your eye in pretty much immediately. One of my favorite paintings, Twilight in the Wilderness by Frederick Church, does this exceedingly well because your eye is immediately drawn right to where the sun is and then is led around the piece. Color can also be used in conjunction with grayscale to highlight very specific areas that you want your eye to be led to. In this particular piece, uh, Follow the Blood Trail, which is a painting I did uh, a couple months ago, this one in particular really kind of highlights that really well because I'm using just a specific amount of red around a grayscale image to really push your eye to a specific point. You can also do the reverse by adding a grayscale or black and white image to a colored environment. Uh, anyone who's well versed in interior design actually probably understands this kind of well. So outside of color and contrast, what else can we play with to understand focal points? Well, something like focus and detail actually kind of play a pretty big part in painting and not just in what you might expect out of something like video or photography. Generally speaking, a background should be less detailed and a little bit out of focus and a foreground should be more in focus and have a lot more detail. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room there and as long as you understand the basic rule you can manipulate that to your advantage but generally speaking less detailed in the back more detailed in the front because generally that's how the human eyes work. For creating a more dynamic painting to sort of replicate the uh, abilities of both digital and traditional photography you can push those limits make the foreground really blurry and just focus on something in the center of the background to really bring your eye in. For the painter, it may be harder to blur certain images in your painting, but one thing you can definitely do is detail specific objects. Think about a tree or a person far off in the background that is very, very detailed, but everything else around it is relatively simple. That is a great idea of using focus to use a focal point. Now as long as we're talking about detail, it's also important to bring up textural variants. Heavy impasto painting, or just using a lot of paint and a lot of thick paint, is a great way to kind of bring a viewer's attention into your project. The texture builds big unique peaks and creates actual little shadows and valleys in the piece. And if you're not simply just doing traditional paint, maybe you're a mixed media artist, you do collage, Using different papers and different materials will really kind of capture somebody's attention and bring their eye in. And they're like, whoa, is that, is that burlap? And the final concept of focal points is something very simple that I'm sure you're pretty familiar with already, and that's framing and perspective. Usage of trees, rocks, buildings, structures is a great way to break up primary and secondary focal points and really kind of lead your eye around the piece. 
And paired with all of these things I've already been talking about, simple, strong perspective is a very easy way to create a distinct and strong focal point. So let's take a quick review. Focal points, in short, can be created with any variety of the elements of design to focus your eye into a specific point in your painting, drawing or sculpture or whatever. If you want to start really kind of focusing on focal points in your work, start with a strong sketch, get a good plan going, but don't be afraid to make changes as you go. Combine and contrast different types and techniques of creating those simple focal points to create a more effective focal point. To help yourself sort of understand this better, practice smaller scale first. Little pieces of cardboard, mini paintings, quick sketches, master studies, to help you understand where the focal points are in these individual pieces. Also, for more on the concept of emphasis behind different things in your painting, check out Principles of Design, I don't know what part it is, but it's emphasis, I'll put a link up here, uh, to really kind of dive into this topic a little bit further. But at the end of all of this, if you're still kind of struggling to figure out what is a focal point and how do I identify them in a painting, pull up your favorite famous painting, close your eyes for a few seconds, and then open them. The very first thing that your eye is drawn to, that is likely the focal point of that piece. And the same technique can be done while designing and creating works of your own. Close your eyes, open them. If your eye isn't drawn to a specific point, maybe you got to work on your concept a bit. So I know today's topic was a little more complex than some of the stuff you're probably used to on this channel, but this is actually a really core fundamental thing to creating really unique and dynamic landscapes and unique and dynamic just paintings in general. Maybe you're a portrait painter, maybe it's abstract, maybe it's landscape like I do. Understanding focal points and really being able to kind of see that in a piece and manipulate it is something that's going to take your work from just a really simple level and transform it into something spectacular. So for more art videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And this has been from Centerblock Studios. See you guys next time.